Hey, here we are back again with another Terraria mod review. This time, we will actually be reviewing a fan favorite, the Calamity mod. Now this mod is easily in my top five favorite Terraria mods. Hell, it's even in my top three. This mod is great and it's a good example of how to do giant content adding Terraria mods right. Let's get into the mods description. So the Calamity mod adds in 740 plus new items, 21 bosses spread throughout the entire game's progression, expert mode boss improvements, 150 plus new enemies, two new biomes, a new mode for the start of the game called Revengeance Mode, post Moonlord content, ores that generate on creation of a new world, and recipes for vanilla items that were not previously craftable. So there's more than enough content from this mod alone to power multiple playthroughs of Terraria. Now that we're done with the mod description, let's get into the pros of the mod because unlike Tremor, there's going to be a lot of these. So where do I start with these pros? Calamity does so many things right, it's hard to just choose one of them. Let, you know what, let's, let's, let's start with the weapons. I think, I think that's a good start. So the weapons in Calamity are so fucking good. Most of them have their own unique qualities or abilities or effects that make them all stand out. There's too many weapons to obviously show off in a short amount of time while I'm saying these things. So I'll just have footage of some of my favorites in the background. So let's move on to the armor now. Now the armor in Calamity is great. They cover the game throughout whether it's early game or post Moonlord and a lot of them also have helmets for specific classes which is a good thing and a bad thing to me. I'll get I'll get into the like bad part later but it's, it's still good. Now let's talk about the bosses. Oh man. What do I say about the bosses from Calamity? They're all amazing. They all have unique AI or amazing sprites to make them very memorable during your first playthrough. And with all the future updates, there's only more tweaks and new bosses coming our way. Now let's, that's all I gotta say about the bosses, simple as that. Now let's move on to the Revengeance mode. Now I haven't played this mode yet. I have not played this mode yet, but the new mode, it's, it makes the game harder. And I know a lot of people, especially like coming to play Moditory, they're looking to make the game harder. So what it does, it boosts spawns rate. There's unique drops that you can only get from the mode itself. There's some crazy boss AI changes. There's also some more general changes, but you guys can find all that information on the wiki page and stuff. And I, I really think that should be all the major things I should mention about Calamity. But uh, there's, there's a couple of like little things that I have to say. The enemies and their sprites, really cool. The accessories are extremely good. And some of the recipes are a bit grindy but it's worth it when you craft it all right let's move on to the cons as much as i don't want to do this it has to be done for the sake of this review so let's start with the sprites and remember these are all coming from my opinion but the first thing that bugged me while playing this mod was how often some sprites changed now obviously changes for the better most of the time but there were a lot of times i had trouble identifying some items while playing the mod because of sprite changes for example, throughout my time playing this mod, the Devourer of Gods, one of the post Moonlord bosses, has had its sprite change three times. Now I'm not saying this is a total bad thing, because the sprites have definitely improved, but for some players I can see this being a problem for them. It's not a big problem, but you know there's gonna be those people out there that complain about something like this. Now let's move on. Remember that thing I said about the armor sets? Let's get back on that subject. So it's a good and a bad thing that every armor set has a variety of helmets you can choose from with each supporting the class you want to prioritize in your playthrough. But I think doing something like that takes out the uniqueness of armor sets. It doesn't allow an armor set to have a unique bonus to the class that you're playing as. Instead of a set bonus focusing on helping a certain class and its mechanics, it has to cater to all the other classes now. So for the thrower. Seems like a lot of the set bonuses, for some odd reason, benefit the thrower. And mod devs of Calamity bash me on this opinion. I'm interested on hearing why the armor sets are done this way. But anyways, that's that's really all I have for cons. I mean, it's a great mod. There's, there's not much to complain about. Ever since Calamity has come into my modded Terraria career, it has been a must-have mod for me. And since I've had it for so long, I've been able to see the mod grow up like a child. Alright, that's kind of, that actually kind of sounds, that's a weird analogy. An ana 
an analogy an anal analogy Let let's let's try something like this all right i've been able to see the mod grow up like a chinchilla yeah i think that works better the the mod developers you know they've shown me nothing but love and hospitality mo most of the time mo mo most of the time but i have zero reason to hate this mod or not recommend it to people who are getting into the mod terrier scene but yeah if i were to sum up this mod in three words i would say fucking great wait hold on that's only two hey if you enjoyed this video please give it a like it helps me a lot and if you enjoyed me might as well subscribe right i'm, I'm a cool person I, I swear and if you want to have a say in the next mod review you can donate to my patreon that way whoever else is in there can directly vote uh including you if you donate on the next mod i'm gonna review all right bye